Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus and the message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything you need to access is down below in my description box, which will be my website link and Instagram handle. All that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in. What the hell? Okay. I That's so funny. So I, like... This was so weird. I started a reading for you just a little bit ago, and I looked back, and it's a good thing I didn't get too far along, but I noticed that it wasn't recording, and so I had to redo everything, but that did come out in the first, so that looks like it's like, it's concrete, there's an offer coming in, or you could be making an offer, or considering an offer. This is either an offer that came in toward you, or you're thinking about someone getting an offer. We have the mirror in reverse. What? We have the one in reverse. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if you're like thinking about an offer that came in and you're kind of like thinking about someone or something that is not the one. This is like very straight up because you could have recognized this, that there was someone who had made an offer toward you, but you could think that they're like someone is not the one that, um, that could be a comparison that you're making. Oh, because it looks like, oh, this person was mirroring you. That's what's, that's what's happening. This realization that, you know how they say false twin flames? Like that you, people, especially people that are kind of traumatized and then they're so good at mirroring you that you think that they're your soulmate or they're like your other half because they're just so much like you or you, or you connect with them so much, but they were just mirroring you to be accepted. And then you can discover later that there's a disconnection there or it's not aligned. And then you're like just realizing either this person was mirroring you or they were mirroring someone that they think is the one, depending on who, depending on your guys' situation, that could have been it too. But it's like one of those trippy situations where you like you could have had this offer this could be something because of the retrogrades it's something about reevaluation reevaluating an offer or thinking back and going like reassessing it re re going through your how you felt and what you were seeing and if you made the right decision it's like something like that but it, like i was saying it's one of those interesting situations where a person, you start to realize that this person mirrored you so well that you just fell in love with yourself in another person that like that's not who they really are or it's not the one. It's so freaking weird. So I don't know what that means. It, I'm not saying that whoever you're with straight up isn't the one. It's just something there where you discovered someone wasn't the one i don't know what that means to you so there you go oh hi ace of pentacles okay and i am going to take the justice in reverse because that did come out in the last read that i just did for you that was like the one that i was like oh wow so there's the venusian energy it's in reverse and we have the ace of pentacles in the center yeah, an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles, or something here about 
starting something new, starting a new project or something like that, but there's an imbalance there. And I think that's my main concern. We have the Empress and the Upright. Holy shit. These are two Libran energies. It's like someone getting married or there's concerns about someone getting married. Six of Swords is in... Okay, let me take this like this. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords reverse and then the Eight of Swords. I'm going to put that right there. Two of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles is in the reverse. That's another... That is technically a Taurus card. What? This is, there's so many different scenarios that I'm picking up from this, so I definitely am not gonna make, say straight up, oh, this is the one, this isn't the one. I'm just kind of talking about See, there's the Pluto retrograde. There's the death card. Um, you could be considering mortality, you know, like death. Pluto retrograde brings up crazy heavy stuff like that. It's all about eighth house, death, sex, transformation, taxes. All of that is connected to Pluto. Okay. Debts, you know. And we have the Hermit in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse as the final outcome. All right, here we go. <laughs> so there's this new energy. There's an offer that was made. Like I said, you either received an offer or you're giving someone an offer. It's just like on the table. That's what this whole thing is centralized, okay? And we have... Almost this, these are very interesting expressions of Venus. So it's like, and you rule by Venus, which is really fascinating because I almost want to say there's something here about the justice in reverse. That's like an imbalance or it feels like a negative cycle, but there's an empress here. There's a person here that could be you, Taurus, like this is the Empress, but both are Libra. So I honestly, and there's even the King of Pentacles here. So I'm seriously like, what? Because your, your archetype came out in different expressions, but there's something here about like a negative side of karma with the justice in reverse or someone that's not quite in balance because someone still could be dealing with some like either overthinking patterns or there's like something where a person still is getting caught up in their head about a situation and and can't get out of or there's concerns about someone going back to something toxic six of swords or someone here it's like having to go back into a situation and deal with this imbalanced energy and then like what seriously because i'm like picking up a few scenarios however this could resonate because there's something here about there's an empress here that's like a healthy feminine they're diplomatic they're graceful try to be the peacemaker this is a healthy-ish feminine very abundant very creative comes up that's venusian beauty like this person could have really good sense of style and clothing like they dress really well they have like a really sharp appearance they even could have really sharp you know libra energy or just air signs in general they tend to have like these really interesting like um 
almost geometrical face, like symmetrical face structure. Air signs have that. They can have like pointy noses and um, that's just like Venusian energy. So anyway, okay. There's something here about some kind of new thing that's generating with the Ace of Pentacles because there was an offer that was made here. And there's something here about a person that still is dealing with some kind of stalemate or toxic environment where there's maybe there's even this process going on of feeling like this process of going back and forth between the future version of yourself and also the current paradigm that you could be experiencing where there's an imbalance there. That also could be the expression of this. How very fascinating. But there's something here about a union. Um, but the justice in reverse is kind of tripping me out. Like, someone's unresolved trauma? Or something like that? Or, or like a comparison? And... Oh man, there's so many broken words. So anyway. Two of Swords reverse there's something here about someone that's see what i said about a comparison because even tor two of swords a lot of twos are decision making cards because see how there's two here and it can be indecisiveness or like you know back and forth like i said there could be a choice or a comparison here maybe Sometimes that happens when you have this enter the mix, which you could be the one in this. If you're this healthy feminine and you're coming into some kind of dynamic or the fact that you're, if this is about a commitment, there could be someone else that is like questioning their decision. I are an interesting thing like that. Something like that. And there's a king of pentacles reverse here could be I don't know if there's something about stubbornness or um, things in health or things in money those that's probably what will be coming up to the surface right now is there's like a stagnancy here a stagnant energy and it's because someone is still dealing with some kind of chaotic environment, whatever that looks like. Someone could feel like they don't have time alone. They don't have time to get in touch with their own answers because the hermit is in reverse. But also the other side of this is there's a person that could be coming out of some kind of hermited process. And this person is clear. There's like comparison that's being made there between someone's alone time or having the time to get connected to themselves that's like a really important piece to all this i know that this is kind of like just pieced together but generally in the extended i get like everything comes together like these little pieces i'm like okay here's this and there's this but it's also because i'm picking up on a few different scenarios and I'm trying to find similarities in, and talk about it in a general way that could resonate with the different scenarios that I'm picking up on, if that makes sense. So anyway, I think I am going to jump over to the extended. I'm not saying you guys should accept or make an offer or whatever. That's going to be dependent. Like there's just something here where Maybe it's about not settling or there's something here about making sure that you have time to get in touch with yourself on making a choice, making the right choice. And yeah, because there's someone here that could be coming out of a process and there's a lot of decisions to make. There could be a lot of choices or options that are coming in for this person that had been maybe in a period of isolation or this person could have been... Um, they're coming out into the world now. They're coming out of some kind of process. And I guess that's going to be a game changer in this whole scenario. Anyway, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But uh, Taurus, if this is where we leave things, 
Sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.